Hey you guys, Mimsy here. I'm gonna show you a tutorial about how to create a faux beam like this one that you see right over my head. Um, this is actually one bys, one by six and two one by fours um, that are attached to a two by four cleat. So um, it's a super simple, easy project that you can do for very little money with hardly any tools. I think the only thing I used on this was a pneumatic nail gun, which all you really need is a hammer and a box of nails. And then I used a manual planer um, to plane the edges. Um, and those are the only tools you need. And then whatever finishing product you wanna use, paint, stain, however you want it to look. So it's a super simple project. It is very inexpensive, doesn't require any tools. So let's get started. Um, one, one quick thing, I, uh, in the video here, I left out one um, important step um, and I added it at the very end. So stick around to the end and you'll see the last step that I omitted from the video accidentally. So let's get started. So here's my uh, beam that I'm creating. I bought, it's a 14 foot stretch. Uh, it's hard to see with the sun. And I bought an eight foot and a six foot one by six. And that's the, the board that's on the ground in the center. And then I bought two eight foot and two six foot one by fours. And so you see there, Right now they're just sitting on the edges. Let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and build the box and then I will um, antique it and paint it and whatever. And so you see that I I did the join, there's a join there. And then I did on this side, I did the opposite. So I've got the six foot one by six here, and then I've got the eight foot one by four here, so I don't have two joints meeting up right there on both sides like all the way around you know what i'm saying so there's going to be a joint in the one by four there there and there and um i probably should have done the other side like with the long one in the center and then two shorts on the end but i didn't want to have three seams so obviously i'm going to try to hide the seams as much as i can with wood filler and i'm going to stain these and kind of give them an antique look and then probably whitewash them. I don't know, we'll see how that finish comes out. I'm gonna use this Amy Howard vintage wood to give it a, an old look. That's what it does to pine. That's a sample board. So I'm gonna start putting this thing together. Okay, so I'm just putting the box together. I put the one by fours down and I put the one by six on top of it, lined it up nice and square as possible um, so that the seam is imperceptible and I'm stapling or not stapling but I'm nailing it with a brad nailer a pneumatic brad nailer you obviously don't have to have a nailer and a compressor you could just use a box of nails and a hammer is just fine that's the beauty of this project you don't need any major tools I didn't even have to cut my wood my lumber because my span is exactly 14 feet I bought an eight foot and a six foot um, dimensional lumber from Home Depot and I didn't even have to cut anything so the only thing I'm using here is my nailer. And then you'll see in a minute, I use a manual planer in order to um, shave off the, the hard corners to make it look rounded and old. Um, but that's the beauty of this project is that it's inexpensive and it doesn't take a lot of tools or skills. But the impact of it is huge. So give it a try. It's this is this is a really fun project, and um, as far as the finish goes, you can finish it however you want it. Paint it, stain it, antique it, anything goes. Okay, so here's the beam that I'm working on um, aging. I yesterday used a planer and took all the corners off um, and just rounded out the edge, and then last night. I used the Amy Howard Better With Age product, or it's called Vintage Wood Better With Age. This is what it looks like, it's real liquidy. But I used that last night, and that up to here, so you can see the difference in the two. 
and you can tell how much how aged that looks. Um, it came out, it, it made the edges a little bit different. So I'm gonna put a couple more coats on today and see what it does. And then I'm gonna go back in and probably um, sand it and um, bang it up even a little bit more. And then I will probably add in some dark wood stain and then I'm gonna maybe even uh, whitewash it and then sand it a little bit more. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna keep working it until I get it to the point where I like it. But you can see that the difference between the aged wood, and I'll come in a little bit closer. So, see how the edges came out a little bit lighter? It's really apparent here, but it's not that big of a difference. But look at the difference between the aged wood and the regular wood, and this is pine. So, this is the diff this is the look you get with pine. I think it's pretty cool. But I really like it. And that's undone. Okay, so I learned a little tip about using this Amy Howard Vintage Wood Better With Age product. Um, yesterday, when I used my planer on these beams in order to round out the edges so that they don't look so new and put together. I used the planer and then immediately after finishing planing all these edges, I used the Better With Age product on this part up to that seam right there because I wanted to leave it overnight and see what the difference was between the two. And this is what it did on the edges. So the areas where I planed the wood took the product different. So the tip here is if you're gonna uh, age your piece before, you know, like, bang it up or sand it or shave it. Give it 24 hours for the air to hit the, the new wood before you use the product because the wood absorbs the product differently. It's my garbage truck. So that's my tip. If you're gonna bang up your wood or sand it or shave it like I did with the planer on the edges, give it 24 hours for the air to, to to set in because that's what I did on this piece. So I did this piece this morning and now it hasn't aged as much because this was sitting overnight. But you see that the edges, well, actually on the video, it looks like the edges are a little bit different too, but in person, it's a huge difference. It all looks the same in person. So that's my tip. Give your wood a, 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 some hours before putting on the product. Okay, so here's the beam installed, and I'm in love with it. I thought originally I would put a dark stain on there and then possibly whitewash it, but once I got it installed into my house, I realized how much I love the color and the depth of it. I love how the product, the Amy Howard Vintage Wood product, raised the grain of the wood and the depth of the color and just the the color is just really great. I like that it's kind of light, um, but anyway, I just love the finished product. So I've got one more little quick tip to give you um, something that I left out earlier in the video. So um, here's my last step. Okay, one last thing that I left out of, that I kind of skipped over in the video, and that is um, when I assembled the box, now let's just pretend because obviously this is not anything like what I had. So when I assembled my beam like this, actually I put the wood on top like that and stapled down or nailed it right here. But for, for, for this, let's just say this and this. Okay, so let's pretend this is the beam that I created. I, after I stapled it together in a box, I did cut some two by four uh, blocks and I installed them 
in the center of the beam and then I stapled in into it in the sides like that just to give it a little bit more uh, structure and um, and it did still because it's only you know the two by four was only you know one and three quarters I still had enough room for the two by four cleat that I was attached to the ceiling and then I stapled into the ceiling cleat um, on the sides so that was just the last thing I wanted to tell you is that I did put some two by four. I, I put one right in the center and I think I put one, I think I put three in total in that whole span. But that, that two by four on the inside really strengthened up the whole thing. And I put the one in the center where I had the, the joint of the two um, one by sixes. So that's the last thing you guys. I'm gonna link you to the next video. See you later.